Are you wild for romance novels? And if you are, are you willing to admit it? Western sociology professor Jen Lois's joint research project takes a closer look at this woman-dominated industry, how the genre is stigmatized, as well as the subculture that has grown up around it. Why do we choose romance? That is a question we get asked a lot because I think people are surprised to hear that two scholars would think to study something that we don't really take seriously in the culture. I've had some people sort of say it's a topic not worthy of sociological analysis. Um, we've, we've had a person who is not an academic but who called the research smutty, right? Mm -hmm. The research smutty because we're studying romance novel writers. Romance is just porn for soccer moms or this dirty little thing that you have to like hide from everybody because God forbid there be like a sex positive culture in this country. When we get reactions like the research is smutty, it kind of makes us pause. Like, cause first of all, it makes no sense. How can research be smutty? Uh -huh. But also it makes us realize how deeply held the stigma is against romance. That not only are these stigmas associated with the readers, which we know, and the writers, which we've come to learn, but also with us who are just studying. It's a huge genre. There's lots of variety in terms of um, the type of storyline, whether it's historical or contemporary or paranormal or erotic. It's not all Fifty Shades of Grey, but some of it is, you know, a subgenre is erotic. It's just like there are stereotypes of romance novels themselves. There's stereotypes about who writes these kinds of uh, novels. I learned everything I need to know about being an adult from romance, and I will say that all the time and I get all the looks for it and and it just makes me insane that there's this whole little like well that's unhealthy uh no <laughs> it's really not romance novels are written by women for women and about women you know you you have a female protagonist who is allowed to be more than your standard tropes which is a a victim or a virgin or an object or a whore and in romance they are more. They are complete characters. They have flaws, they have things that you love about them, things that you hate about them, things that they want, hopes and dreams and agency. It's the most widely read genre. It's what they read when they're with a parent at the hospital who's ill. So we know it's influencing society in a positive way and that it's helping people manage. Mm -hmm. And it's helping people be entertained, which is something we also hear about from a lot of writers. So people who are readers, if they're romance readers, they get it and they think it's cool. If they're not romance readers, they kind of snicker and laugh and say, is that like Fifty Shades of Grey? Um, but if they're academics, we typically get either, that is so cool, <laughs> why didn't we think of that? Because right. that sounds really fun. Right. Or, what is the point? What's sociological What about is that? sociological, what is scientific, why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. um, it's the community of romance writers is about, I don't know, we always say 99% female. Mm -hmm. It's hugely, hugely gendered and there are very few men in the romance writing community. There are a few, but um, as a result, it becomes this very gendered occupation, this very gendered subculture, um, and since we're both gender sociologists, that's what we like to study. Part of that is linked to the trivialization um, that we're looking at, how women's work is trivialized. We're looking at um, how romance writers are, and readers are sexualized because of the, the stories are known for their sexual content and we link that to just sort of the history of, you know, shaming women for their sexual activity in a way that we don't shame men to the same degree. Not everybody really has a good understanding of what a romance novel is, so we have to do kind of a lot of like, um, you, you may think it's this kind of book where the heroine is on the front with her dress falling off, you may have heard of them referred to as bodice rippers, but that's such a small stereotypical representation of what romance novels are. You can have your same-sex couples and your hetero couples and your side couples that get together behind the scenes like a rom-com. Really, whatever you have a hankering for, whatever your favorite thing is, you can find it in romance and it's fantastic. We found a local group um, of romance writers who meet every month and we started going and we just loved the people who we met there. and. The things that they taught us about the career of romance writing and the craft of romance writing, every time we left these meetings, we would talk about all the sociological, I don't know, elements that, you know, are part of the romance writing subculture. Roddick has um, a large ebook following because 
people can read it with more privacy. They don't have to go to a bookstore and face someone, you know, at the checkout stand who's going to sneer at them and shame them for reading sexually explicit material. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. When Fifty Shades of Grey came out, uh, it, it sort of became that under fire situation. But what it did is it really brought things into the public view. People were talking about it, openly talking about it. You know, everyone from soccer moms to news anchors to whatever were talking about this book. Having romance in any sort of story, um, in your, your science fiction or your, your epic fantasy, your Game of Thrones style, or your, you know, where everybody's killing everybody, but you still have those loves, you know? It's such a part of the human condition. Sex is such a part of the human condition. And to basically, like, just kind of pretend it doesn't exist does everybody this huge discourtesy. The general reaction we've had, the general reaction has been enthusiasm and mm -hmm. interest. Mm -hmm. Way more interest in this research than anything else either one of us has ever done. Right. Way. Uh -huh. I learned everything I need to know about being an adult from romance, and I will say that all the time, and I get all the looks for it, and, and it just makes me insane that there's this whole little, like, well, that's unhealthy. Uh, no. <laughs> it's really not. Romance novels are written by women, for women, and about women. You know, you you have a female protagonist who is allowed to be more than your standard tropes, which is a, a victim or a virgin 